Hey, what's up, my little channel child? Y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you're Khloe Kardashian, ooh, I don't know. Y'all, what can we talk about? If you guys don't know, the, the Kardashians have been showing up and showing out at the Lakers game. And who knew the price of Tristan buying his way back into that family was literally giving the Kardashians some airtime. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, y'all, the only man that the Kardashians not only acknowledge, but show up and show out is at this point, Tristan Thompson. The only thing is there's one person missing. Well, actually three. Where is Chloe? Honestly, let me put the, the whole family was at a Lakers game, but Chloe made herself stay home and send messages of support. And why is this so funny? Because you know, how you know that they're back together. You know how they, that you know that Chloe is actually with Tristan? Because can you explain to me how Chloe has not showed up at one game, but your whole family out there talking about, yeah, Lakers. But more importantly, where's True? Where's the only child that he acknowledges? And yes, I, until we find out Tatum, I think little TBD to be determined, I think his name now is Tatum Robert. Where is True? The only child that Tristan's ever acknowledged. The only child that Tristan's ever put on his, well, that's not true, Prince too. But where is True? Who, as we can see, is his favorite child? Does Chloe not think it's odd that True is not courtside? We got Saint up there wearing jerseys. We got North holding up. Yay, Tristan signs. But True ain't want to see her daddy win the championship. And honestly, the way uh, Tristan's uh, career is going, we don't know if he's going to be on the team for the second year. You guys don't think it's odd that Tristan's own daughter is not sitting here courtside watching her daddy play at playoffs? Now, listen. <laughs> A lot of people said that Chloe is too cowardly to show her face and she's probably chilling at the VIP box with all the uh, kids and other basketball wives that don't want to be on the floor. But why wouldn't you put True on the floor to actually see her daddy win? Again, let's get into this, but let's get into Chloe's letters of support. And before we get into this, I do want to say this, y'all. It's becoming more and more apparent. Chloe gives herself side chick energy. Is that why Tristan treats her like that? You got two kids by this man. Let this man embarrass you and make a fool of you. You got your whole family down courtside where they're sucking up the benefits of having that little horrible deadbeat dad. You got all this stuff going on, but you sitting at home, subbing Mara Mar Lee, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch my old videos, right? Not even an old video. I just posted one a day ago about how uh, Marley and Chloe been engaged in this war, right? Because Chloe's mad that Theo exists and look like just like True and Tatum. If the side of his face and back of his head is any indication. But you got all this stuff and all you can do is sit at home and sub another woman that got the baby that Jim Man gave her. Make no mistake, Tristan gave it and knew what he was doing when he gave it. It wasn't a, it wasn't a mistake, right? You got the thing that your man gave her and you subbing because you can't be seen in public because of things your man did. You can't even go and see the playoff. His daughter can't even be there. Chloe, well, you're making yourself a side chick. That's why nobody ever believes y'all together. And you think you cracked the code of, well, nobody can know. Call him cheating if they don't know we're together. Girl, why aren't you on the court side supporting your best friend? I really want to know at this point. Girl, go support your best friend. He's good enough to be at McDonald's, right? He's good enough to show up birthday parties. He's good enough for you to pull. That's another thing. Chloe ain't been posting under Tristan's Instagram. Mm, none of my business, but you know I'll make it. All right, let's get into Chloe's post because this is truly hilarious. You guys also hit that like and subscribe button. You guys know I'm trying to go to 200K. I'm almost there. You can call this engine the little, you can call this engine. You can call, there I go again. Mm, got a knack for mixing up my metaphors. You can call this channel the little engine that could. You guys have been rocking with me for a long time. Again, like, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, let me go create some value. Okay, so anyway. But we put, I'm proud of you. The truth is that most people really knew your story and all the things you've been through. They probably wonder how you're still smiling. 
So if you don't hear from anyone else, to which I will say this, girl, he's still smiling because he is the Joker in Batman. You can't even say you're Harlequin. You are like the person that like Harlequin was jealous of and got rid of. If most people knew your story and what you've been through, yes, Chloe, it is called a villain origin story. Every bad, bad man. <laughs> Shout out to Tristan's Jamaican heritage. Don't drag me. I had to try a Jamaican accent. Don't drag me. Literally, every villain and bad, bad man literally has the same origin story. Yes, Chloe, hurt people hurt people. And what Chloe says, they probably wonder, how you're still smiling oh i'm not wondering anymore i know why he's still smiling he don't give a d a what he don't care he doesn't care he even conned your ass into thinking that he's always going to be there for true and little the little tbd will call him tatum and that might be true but at the end of the day tristan has the ability to make selfish decisions that will destroy everybody's life. They don't care. You really think a man that knows that he has a baby on this earth, forget about how he feels about Marley, right? Because let's be adults. The baby's here. This isn't a puppy that he told his girlfriend he didn't want to buy. The baby's here. She look, He looked just like you, just like your kids. And you don't even want to see him? You being daddy to somebody, to, to dream? And you don't want to see the baby you created? And you're talking about, I wonder how you're still smiling. I believe he may have narcissistic tendencies. Again, I'm not a doctor, can't diagnose, but I do believe he don't give a damn. That's how he's still smiling. He don't care. Chloe's the only one that hasn't figured out <clears throat> while he's wondering, how are you still smiling? Because you're a joke to, you know what? Let me move on. He, she said, so if you don't hear it from anyone else, I'm proud of you. How embarrassing that you got two babies by this fool, right? Two babies. And you got to send motivational Snapchats and he ain't even post you yet, even though I wonder if during Mother's Day weekend, if he's probably going to make her official. Chloe, as you know, is moving for marriage. People are saying that she's actually interested in a spinoff show. That's where Chloe money is going with all this, but we'll see. Anyway, she said, a positive mind and pure heart will take you a long way. I agree. But if that's the case, Tristan, you going nowhere, said baby Theo, right? A positive mind and a pure heart will take you a long way. That's why Tristan is sitting there always out of gas. Again, congratulations on Tristan getting back congratulations that the universe found a way to re to reward someone because that is life right as much as we hate to admit it and we're like oh my god karma's gonna deal with you a lot of times karma is like girl i'm trying to stop a war in like how many things i don't got time to be supervised in this ain't ish ninja that is always making a fool of you i really don't have time anyway chloe said and this is where she starts to play the victim. Because you know Chloe loves playing the victim. When someone helps you and they're struggling too, that's not help. That's love. No, dummy. That's stupidness. And I will say this once and for all. Right? I will say this once and for all. The universe, whether you believe in spirituality, whether you believe in God, higher power, whatever. You were not put here. You did not win the genetic gold standard which is life that's what everything in this universe is fighting for you did not win this race to become something to be alive for you to throw it behind standing behind someone that doesn't deserve it now just hear me out right it is love of course when you help someone even when you're hurting and that's a beautiful thing but chloe keeps mistaking complete self-sacrifice for love and even if you did go by this logic Chloe how come the love doesn't go two ways how are you best friends with someone that never how are you best friends with someone that never right that never helped you 
while they were struggling. Where's the love that you're pouring in? It's very sad. I hope she's not teaching True this stuff. I mean, True is a gorgeous little girl, but we all know it's what your mama and daddy taught you. And the fact that you are literally, you know what? Let me stop speaking about the way people raise their kids, wishing for the best, preparing for the worst. Anyway, right? We got to ask ourselves, is Chloe really that afraid? Let's get back to the fun and jokes. Is Chloe really that afraid to show her face at the Lakers game, right? This is the same woman. For those of y'all being like, well, maybe Chloe doesn't want to be more high profile. This is the same woman that wore matching tacky glitter outfits to Malika's party. You really think this woman is like, what, why are you so afraid to go to a Lakers game? Is it because you're, is it because you're afraid another side chick is going to pop up? You think you found the cheat code as long as people don't think that you and Chloe are, you and uh, Tristan are together. You're going to be friends to the end like Chucky, living together, having sleepovers, doing all that stuff. Yeah, that can stop people from saying that Tristan is cheating on you. But at the end of the day, you know you with that man. At the end of the day, you know that if you find out there's another woman around, you're going to be devastated. At the end of the day, you know all that mess. So, mm-hmm. All right. None of my business. Anyway, but seriously, the whole family's there. Why isn't she supporting her best friend? Why can't True watch her daddy play? You know? Again, some people are saying that they wouldn't be shocked if Chloe was in, um, they were in the family slash owner private box seats, right? They're saying that they think the wives, girlfriends, and children have their own boxes to watch the game from. Okay, but again, right? And there's no guarantee that Tristan is going to be playing next season. So why not let your daughter experience it? Why wouldn't you let True go downstairs and sit on the floor with her aunt to experience it? Y'all, at this point, I don't understand what Chloe's infatuation is with Tristan. You have literally made yourself a secret baby mama. It's not invited to, you can't sit on the floor. Your daughter can't watch her daddy play. You hide in the relationship. You have to act like y'all just best friends. Y'all, I will say one thing. Y'all can say that the universe always tilts to good, but I think Tristan is proof that evil wins sometimes. Evil is alive and well and dancing all over Chloe's self-esteem. Y'all, listen, let me know what you think in the comments. This is going to be a heavy upload Saturday. If I created any value, if you were amused, chuckled, laughed, or even rolled your eyes, hit that like button or dislike. You know, we take feedback right? Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Where is Chloe going with this? And like, are they going to have a secret wedding? Oh my God. What if they're already married? Okay. That was just my speculation and gossip, but I wouldn't put it past Coco. Anyway, y'all let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Oh, don't forget Real Housewives of Atlanta. I'll be reviewing tomorrow. And also of course, keeping up with the Kardashians. Okay. That's enough of my infomercial. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.